Well, good morning. Tuesday, May 10th. It snowed hard yesterday and pretty much all day. And then throughout the night and it was minus three this morning. It's about zero degrees now. I'm not sure what, what to do. Just, uh, I got some bags to make and stuff, but it's, the yard is just such a, a disaster. Everything's stuck and making ruts all over. I don't, don't really feel like doing anything. There's, uh, there's seating equipment to get prepped and ready and it, it's impossible to even do that. Don't want to be too depressing or whatever, but that's, I mean, that's the reality of it. It's just, it's an absolute nightmare. Very discouraged today. The weather people, they keep, I wish they, I wish they'd give up. They, they don't, they can't, they can't predict nothing. Zero. Maybe 24 hours, maybe. Uh, other than that, they have no idea what's going on. What often happens up here is they, uh, Monday they put out a 14 day forecast. And then Tuesday, they not only change it completely from what they said it was going to be the day before, but they change, for Tuesday, they changed the whole entire 14 day forecast as well. So if on Monday, 14 days out, they say it's going to be sunny, then on Tuesday, 13 days out, they'll say, oh, it'll be 100% chance of 10 to 50 millimeters of rain. And then on Wednesday, 12 days out, they'll say, oh, it's going to be snowing. It, it, it just, it's, un, it's unbelievable. And uh, I guess there's no, no shame in the uh, <coughs> weather prediction meteorologist world. Those guys and girls and people, I, I guess they just, they have no shame. They're like, oh yeah, no. just say whatever, change it tomorrow. Now, of course, the weather's not their fault, but what is frustrating is that we spend any money at all educating people in meteorology or any of the uh, weather field, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, they're just totally clueless anyways. Maybe the, uh, maybe the technology doesn't exist for them to properly predict weather. I don't know, but it's, it's frustrating. Because when you're involved in egg, pretty much like 100% of what you're going to do revolves around the weather. So it's kind of nice to know or have a, a pretty good idea of what the weather's going to do. And when you don't and you never do, it's just, it's frustrating. So anyways, first thing I'm going to do here, because I can't, I mean, there's, there's just no point in trying to do anything else. I, excuse me, when you're, when you're maintaining farm machinery, unless you have a big enough shop to put it in, you, you have to wait for it to be dry outside. Because you're mostly crawling underneath of this stuff. And if you're not crawling under it, you're crawling over it. And if, like all of our stuff, when we put it away at the end of the season, it's all sprayed down with rust check or fluid film or some sort of rust inhibitor. Uh, it's washed, it's clean, and we put it away in the shed. So now if you're going to have mud all over your boots and you're going to be crawling all over this stuff, you're going to just, it's going to be more, more harm than good. And then not to mention the fact that the stuff is all slippery because it's all iron and painted iron at that. You're climbing around it with your wet, muddy boots on and you're slipping and all of the new seating equipment has monitors and cables running all over the place and hoses. So the first thing you do is you climb up there, you slip and trip, you fall. Uh, most of the towers and stuff are plastic. Uh, lots of the, the fittings and things are, are plastic and the, uh, and the fasteners and stuff. So you climb up there, you slip, you get everything all muddy, you trip, you fall through it. Now you're bleeding, you're injured. You're all beat to heck and you've busted the hose or you've busted the cable or you've busted the wire or whatever it is that you fell onto. So you basically take two steps forward and 14 steps back every time you, at least in my experience. So I'm not even gonna attempt it today. I do got some bags to make. I'm gonna see if I can get that done. I don't wanna do that either because it's just so muddy and gross around here that everything sucks, but gotta do something, I guess. I ordered very naively yesterday, or last week, sorry, a alternator like repair kit had a voltage regulator and some other trinkets in it. So I 
did this, the alternator in this tracker, it was at, like it was charging 17 volts, which is too much for a 12 volt system. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just change out the voltage regulator, change out those parts, fired it up. It went uh, like 12, 13, 15, five, and then boom, right back to 12. Oh, what's happening here? It's like blew right up, I guess. Well, I'm assuming there's bigger alternator problems. I, I didn't really have a lot of faith that I was going to be able to fix it. I just never had done that before. And I've, I've heard that you can change up voltage regulators. So. Of course, there's all sorts of other tests. You gotta test this, you gotta test that and make sure something else in the alternator hasn't failed, which I didn't do, so it kind of is what it is. It was interesting to look inside there and see the different parts anyways. So this tractor still needs an alternator. Maybe once the, I get my bags done today, if it does warm up 12 or 13 degrees like they're predicting, it's gonna be so muddy around here. There'll actually be water running through the ditches and everything. Maybe I'll run into town and get an alternator, but I better quit yakking and get on with the, uh, get on with my day. Well, good evening. Just like that, another day in the books. Tuesday evening, 7.45. Just finished making bags. I made like 10, 13, maybe 20 bags today. It was totally nuts. Probably the last day I'm gonna dedicate just to making bags. Uh, as you can see, the snow is all but gone. Still super wet. However, I got to get on getting the tractors ready. That one needs an oil change. Got to check all the tires, uh, check all the fluids. I got to get down to our other shed. I got to get the disc out of there. I got to get that up here. I got to go back and get the tanks. I got to get the tanks hooked up to the drills. Uh, nothing should need a bunch of work, but that in itself is going to take the day. So hopefully tomorrow I... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I probably won't make any bags tomorrow, as long as it doesn't rain or anything tonight or snow. But uh, tomorrow we should have some different, actually something different to film for once, instead of just, oh, I made bags today. But uh, as always, to those who are still watching, thank you very much, I really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully we get some seating equipment out and hooked up.